Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Modern Beauty. My name is Amanda and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to get this look, which for lack of a better title I'm calling the winter berry look. Um, and I wanted to do a look that was primarily red and so um, I put this look together and usually when you think of reds, the seasons that you wear red is generally in the fall with the red leaves and everything and in the winter where it pops against the snow the white um, and you do wear reds in the summer too you know if you're um, like a bright red lip or something like that but generally fall and winter are the times that I um, feel comfortable or feel like it's most um, seasonally appropriate to wear red so um, for fall usually I gravitate towards like a warm red an orangey red and in the winter I gravitate towards more of a cool red so this look really focuses on the pinks purples reds and then also splashes of um, bright highlight um, with the the top shade for the brow and also for um, the highlight on the cheekbones so um, to kind of give it that like winter frosty feel so like I said, for lack of a better title, the Winterberry look is here. And so stay tuned and I will show you how to get it. First, I'm going to take a blending brush. This is the Morphe M433. And I'm going to grab the color Obsessed in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to place this all in my crease and all the way up to my brow. This is going to serve as a little bit of a base, but also um, highlight. Using the same blending brush as before, I'm going to grab the color Courtesan from the Carity Smoky palette, and I'm going to place that in my crease right on top of the color Obsessed we just laid down without taking it all the way up to my brow bone so that you can still see the highlight. Taking a crease brush, this is the Morphe M519, I'm grabbing the color Yaba in the Curity Smoky palette and I'm going to place this on top of the courtesan color in the crease and I'm just going to blend that into the previous color. Now I'm taking a pencil brush, this is the Morphe B42, and I'm going back to the Jaclyn Hill palette and grabbing the color Jax, which is like a deep red, and I am going to put that into the depth of my crease, so I'm not building it up very much, I'm just putting it in there to get some more color, and then I'm going to blend it. Taking a packing brush, this is the Morphe M522, I'm grabbing the color Cran Apple in the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm going to pat this onto my lid. And you can see I've got some fallout going on here, so I think it's helpful when you're doing any eye look to do that before you do your foundation. That's what I try to do, that way you can clean it up and you can um, also get a more defined eyeshadow line, should that be what you want. Next I am taking a Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Tulip Twinkle and I'm just dabbing a small amount of that onto my lid and tapping it in with my finger so it gets a little bit more of a diffused look with the glitter. Once you're done doing your eye makeup on your lid, you're going to want to do your face makeup so we can move on to anything that's happening with the bottom lash line. I'm going to take the Wet n Wild On Edge Long Wearing Eye Pencil in black and line my bottom waterline with this. I'm taking another pencil brush, this is the Morphe M431 and is actually still available to get if you want to, unlike the other pencil brush I showed. I'm taking the color Cran Apple again in the Jaclyn Hill palette and buffing that into my lower lash line. I'm going to finish up the eyes with some mascara. This is the Ultimate Mascara by Mary Kay in Black, and the eyes will be finished after this. To complete the look, I am going to use the Fanciful Amazonian Clay Blush by Tarte and put that on the apples of my cheeks. 
For some blinding highlight, I'm going to use the Flexitarian Highlighter by Color Plop, Color Plop, Color Pop. And I'm going to put that all on the high points of my face, so my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, my chin, my uh, cupid's bow, and also um, the center of my forehead. I'm going to take Lip Sense by Senna Gents in the color Crimson, and I'm going to do one layer of this all on both of my lips. And I'm going to do something interesting and also add a regular lipstick into this mix. So we're going to do one layer of Lip Sense, one layer of regular lipstick, and then one layer of Lip Sense on top to try to lock in that color. For the middle layer, I'm going to take Raisin Hell Velveteens by Lime Crime, and I'm going to put a very thin layer of this on. Um, this has to be completely dry before we put the other layer of lip scents on top, so the thinner the better. And then go do something else and wait for it to dry and come back. Lastly, you're going to take the Clear Lip Sense by Senna Gents, and I actually ended up doing two coats of this, so I did one to make sure that it got all over um, the Raisin Hell Lime Crime lipstick, um, and then I did another coat on top of that to make sure that I didn't miss anything and everything was sealed in. Once dry, I then topped it with a matte gloss by Senna Gents, and the matte gloss helps to um, give all of the glory to that, that Lime Crime lipstick, which has a beautiful metallic finish. And there you have it. The winter berry look is complete. If you try this look or you use it for inspiration, I would love to see your creativity along with any other looks that you try to recreate or use inspiration from from this channel. Um, you can go ahead and tag me on social media. I have all of my social media linked below. You can also also use the hashtag um, mod squad, which I would love for you to join our mod squad, which is just our 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 channel family here on Modern Beauty. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, especially if you want to see um, content like this in the future. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I am so enjoying spending time with you and I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful, um, a wonderful December and Christmas season or holiday season. And we're getting ready to head into 2019 soon, which is super fun. I have one more video lined up before Christmas, I want to say. So I am excited to see you guys in that one. Um, it's going to be a bit fun and a little bit different than what we've done on this channel so far, but will not be abnormal for this channel either. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. I will see you in the next video without further ado. So I hope you have a great day and I will see you later. Bye.